I was watching a video some time ago about Filipino food. And this particular video featured a guy eating crispy pata or uh, deep fried pig's knuckles and lechon kawali or deep fried pork belly. I suddenly had a craving to have them for lunch. I, I think no one would dispute how delicious these Filipino foods are. But there's also no argument how deadly these foods can be being loaded with fat and cholesterol. A few bites wouldn't hurt, I guess, but you know, eating them to your heart's content. Ay nako, talagang siguradong magbabump up yung blood pressure mo, at nako, magkita lang tayo sa emergency room. No. There are many good things in life that we crave for. We love going to eat all-you-can restaurants where we can gorge on all kinds of delicious food. Some people simply love sweet food and, you know, tend to have a little too much dessert after a heavy meal. A bottle of beer or a glass of wine after dinner can be so relaxing, you know. Uh, they can taste so refreshing that we may end up drinking not just a couple of beer but a six-pack. Or wine can be so good that one ends up downing the whole bottle and, and be very much drunk. Sometimes, we have this urge to watch videos that contain a lot of violence and show a lot of flesh. We may rationalize that all we're interested in is the story, actually. And yet, we get to feast our eyes on dangerous visual images that may disturb our imagination. There are limits to what we humans can take without causing harm to ourselves. Unfortunately, we tend to challenge those limits. We readily find excuses why those limits don't apply to us or why we are excused from the consequences of exceeding those limits. Here's a quick test. Would you feel ashamed if you're forced to confess to, to the people you care about whatever it is that you did? God knows what's best for us. You know, after all, He created us. He set boundaries for people for them to truly flourish as human beings. And there's an inner voice that, you know, sort of nudges us to be mindful of those limits. We violate them at our own risk. The good thing is we can resist those temptations. We have that capacity. If you believe in God, He enables you to be able to stand firm against things that may harm you. The Apostle Paul gives us this reminder. He said, No temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. But with the temptation, he will also provide a way of escape that you may be able to endure it. So, when we encounter something that activates our cravings, and we know that it can and will harm us, say a little prayer to God. He will give you the inner strength to stand firm and resist. Because in the battle against temptations, Faith matters too.